Hi folks, next on HotOnAndroid.com and Galaxy S5 Root.com where we get on Android every day. Um, so today's uh, phone is Galaxy S5 and I've got the Lions ROM, Lollipop Alliance ROM installed on my AT&T Galaxy S5 and also my T-Mobile Galaxy S5. Uh, this ROM you can install on AT&T, T-Mobile, Canadian and also the International G900F. Uh, this is a pretty cool ROM if you want to run the latest TouchWiz uh, lollipop and you don't like AOSP for some reason or maybe you use apps uh, that require it uh, maybe you have a Gear S watch like myself and you need to use TouchWiz to um, install Gear apps or you need to use you know some of the features like the S Health or whatnot uh, whatever the reason is um, you can check out the Alliance ROM which has a highly customizable uh, theme engine which is a little bit different from the Galaxy S6 um, but it, there's a ton of themes already that you can get free so you might be very interested um, also changing the theme gives you uh, your own keyboard customized keyboard which is really cool I've got the Iron Man theme on the right and also uh, Batman Joker theme on the left now you can go ahead and change all of that in Alliance Manager Alliance Control um, go ahead and go into uh, themes and colors here and you can actually customize all of the colors uh, of the status bar, drop down, other colors, and more more stuff. Um, also, let me go ahead and show you with this one here. Um, so basically, you can customize all of the different colors. Or if you want to go with the pre-made theme, uh, you can actually go ahead and download here, upload and download themes. And go ahead and go view and download themes. And you'll be able to choose from literally like a hundred different themes, which is really cool. And I'll go ahead and choose one of these. Uh, there's like S5 Lollipop, S5 Style. Uh, let's go ahead and try a Tron. And this will actually load up and download. And that's what it's, you'll get a little preview. Go ahead and download and install. That'll actually take a few seconds. So let me go ahead and let that work. Um, so that's really cool. And you can get a ton of different themes. And this also changes your whole keyboard, which is uh, the coolest part. Now that's not all, this uh, ROM control also allows you to do a lot more stuff like you can go ahead and customize uh, your status bar just like AOSP ROM. They brought a lot of the uh, AOSP ROM features onto TouchWiz for those of you who want to be on TouchWiz. Um, you can go ahead and customize your uh, status bar, you can go ahead and turn off, uh, turn on network speed. Um, just like on AOSP ROM, um, you can change the position of your clock, uh, also notification panel you have a bunch of options here also uh, heads up notifications you can disable it uh, blacklist um, just like uh, a regular AOSP ROM so that is really cool um, here's additional shortcuts you can add um, some more stuff with the launcher uh, touch with theme chooser so actually you get uh, themes on top of the Alliance themes this is also another way to uh, customize your theme uh, this it also comes with touch with themes that you can also change and you'll see that my icons have changed so there's two different ways to actually change your themes and of course going into animations you can go ahead and customize uh, your system animations uh, lock screen options uh, this is where you can go ahead and change the long press or double press I've got uh, double press now to my camera which is nice um, just like a Galaxy S6 so I can easily access it. Um, so it is a very good way to really um, tweak your theme and also of course that's not all of it. If you're using uh, non at and the at and you can't uh, install a custom kernel because of the lock bootloader but if you're using the T-Mobile, the international variants uh, or the Canadian variant they're all the same file actually. Um, you can go ahead and use K-Tweaker app to uh, overclock your phone. I recommend a uh, setting minimum of around five se 500 megahertz like this and enable an uh, OC steps there and set that to 2.764 gigahertz that's probably the most stable you can go uh, without you know losing stability and once you do that uh, everything will be super fast and I've gotten let me see here I just ran in 22 and you'll get a slight uh, speed bump over uh, the one that's not overclocked so and 22 with uh, without overclocking, you can see I've got 45,000 
and with slight overclocking i get 46700 so you know you can make it really fast if you have a non AT&T version also um, other than that is a pretty solid rom a uh, very good battery life uh, a ton of great themes again i love this part where it gives you a themed keyboard and i really like this um, you can get a ton of different keyboards it's really cool i think so definitely check it out for this week's round of the week if you have at&t t-mobile canadian uh, or the smg 900 f it might also be able to be installed on smg 900 m and i i'm not exactly sure but you can go ahead and try it it's probably uh, very safe as long as they uh, share the qualcomm uh, processor so definitely check it out uh, and do let me know uh, what you think uh, but i think you guys will love it very good level of customization awesome keyboards themes uh overclocking for the other version here uh, anyway i'll see you guys soon i'll have more stuff coming as always i'll stay on android <laughs>